All right, next resin test, and the last resin test of this batch is F80. I've always been interested in F80. I'm a big proponent in F69. I use it for the ATST. It's a rigid rubber. I've always been interested in the elastic. I asked them to send me a bottle. They did, and I love it. I love this resin. This resin is, is awesome. I've been having fun with it ever since I got it. Um, <laughs> and, okay, resin test. Resin test. This is why I love it. I had no hope that this resin was going to print the same test that I used for all this other, this other stuff. Okay. I have two uh, validation matrices. I have a, a post-cured one and a pre-cured one. Um, I kind of wanted to see the difference, any like color-wise, if there was any. Um, possibly hard to see, might not pick it up. The pre-color is definitely a bit more vivid than the post-color. Seems pretty normal. Don't really care. So I think this color is called like ginger, ginger buy or some something like that. Meaning it's uh, it's gum flavored. It should look like your gums. But this is what I love. Just how flexible this resin is compared to F69. It's wild. Look at that. Like I'm. I can literally put this back on itself. Like yeah. This stuff is, is cool. Now, that being said, I have no hopes, none whatsoever, that this resin can hold the weight of a Super Battle Droid. That being said, I have no intention on actually trying to fight assembling this and getting it to stand. I'm crazy, not that crazy. Um, I just know weight alone it, it's just going to buckle in on its legs. That being said, this, I didn't change support settings. I used light supports on a Mars 2 with the rest of all, all this other stuff. And this, it printed. Like, it's wild that that this printed with light, su light supports. Like, look how, I mean... This is a, a, a rubber ducky. Like, I can assemble this and, and I can sleep with it at night. That's hilarious. Hilarious. Um, <laughs> applications. Um, anything that maybe you want to make a sleeve for a joint or something like that. There is no dusting this is this I mean this is rubber so uh, dusting is only an issue when you have rigid resins um, this is not rigid at all so yeah this is like think um, seals and stuff like that right so this can definitely hold joints and it's gonna be fine let me grab Like, the most this thing is going to do is it's going to kind of wear down as, as a rubber wood, like, like an eraser. Um, it's going to require a lot of, a lot of pressure. So, yeah, I mean, this stuff is hilariously funny. I have Octopon in my Discord. I also got some, and we've been, we've been having a blast with it. Like, I think this is probably, like one of my favorite resins and this is why I love resin one is because their resins are special purpose this isn't your everyday resin this is oh I need to print something you know special and I need something with special properties so that's when you reach for the resin one bottle um, I don't think without fighting I'll get this in Scratch that, I got it in, and I made it. It works as a joint, 
But since it's flexible, it just allows the joint to kind of slip out and not ro rotate. Um, normal, I would say that's not a bad thing. That's just, it's just funny. Um, like th this whole print just made me laugh that I even got it. So I think that's a win in and of itself because TH69 can sometimes be very difficult to print with. Um, this one, it seems to be pretty easy right out the gate. Um, so yeah, you need something that, that squeezes and is movable. Obviously, the thinner the part, the more flexible it's going to be. Um, typical, right? So model with hair, definitely use this to print out the hair with. You don't have to worry about the hair breaking or anything like that or being too rigid. It will move. Um, so yeah, that's our, that's our resin test. I hope you enjoy this one because this one's, this one's awesome. This one also comes in black. I think it's just, it's, it's so fun. It's so fun to mess with. But that's it.